Ask any big kid about the places he wants to stand on a rostrum and motor racing's famous venues always pop up. Indy and the famous Gasoline Alley are an institution. For we true blue boys, it's that spot that Brock gets to stand on regularly. While for our continental counterparts, Le Mans gets the big vote. Le Mans, the famous 24-hour sports car race in France. A long demanding circuit, a long demanding race. It's a technical, physical and mental nightmare. Hundreds of thousands cram the Saad circuit to watch the longest procession of all time and despite the prospect of 24 hours of motor racing pain, optimism and big entries flow freely. In this year's World Sports Car Championship, some new players have added more than a touch of spice to the old Porsche hunting ground. Mercedes-Benz through sports car constructors Sauber and Jaguar have been engaged in war and it culminates at Le Mans. The Jag Benz arrival is a breath of fresh air and the 24-hour race on June 12 is wide open. But while a Porsche Benz battle is exciting, the Jaguar assault is awesome. No less than five of these XJR9s will line up in silk-cut colours with 14 drivers including Australian Larry Perkins. Well, Tom uh, um, approached me early this year, in January, indeed asked me if I would like to drive a Jag at Le Mans, and uh, I said uh, I'd be delighted. Uh, I asked him if, uh, he said he was running five cars, and uh, I asked him all, if all cars have an equal chance uh, mechanically, and he said they indeed do, so I was happy as hell, because uh, the Jaguar is the top team in sports car racing in the world today. As Tom Walkinshaw's Holden Group A representative down under, LP fitted in without any drama. He's twice raced at Le Mans and his specialist race car experience is not to be underestimated. Larry raced in 14 GPs with the Brabham, BRM, Surtees and Ensign teams and on his way to Formula One won everything from Formula Ford races to the Formula 3 race at Monaco. In 1978, he finished 12th outright and second in his class with Gordon Spice in the 24-hour classic. And in 1984, Australia rode with Larry and Peter Brock when Channel 7 followed the progress of the Bob Jane T-Mart's Porsche 956. On that occasion, a crash in the 11th hour thwarted what was becoming a strong challenge to the works cars after the boys had made it as high as fifth. That was four years ago. Today's cars are even quicker, and the Jag is a far cry from a Holden Commodore. I flew over there for two days of testing with the Formula One cars, and uh, Tom had three cars at uh, the long circuit in Silverstone, and uh, he allowed me time to equip myself in the car, and uh, I felt uncomfortable at the end of the first day. It was a uh, vast different to what I'm racing right now in terms of speed and grip, but uh, at the end of the second day, I started to feel very at ease in the car and then did respectable lap times. And uh, Tom indeed was happy with my performance. I, I weren't the quickest, but uh, I weren't the slowest and uh, I felt comfortable, as I said, and uh, so here we are. The TWR Jaguars are pulse quickeners. 800 kilograms of carbon fibre wrapped aerodynamically around a V12 7 litre, 700 horsepower, 5 speed rocket. This is motor racing heaven. Well, it's something you either, let's say, like or don't like, and I've found that it's not a problem. Uh, I immediately feel comfortable in the car, and uh, it's all a lot of familiarity about it to what I've been used to over the years, really. Uh, right hand gear change and uh, you know, seven or eight hundred horsepower is all going all going back to when I was in Formula One and uh, it's a good feeling but I must admit it took a bit of time to get used to the sheer speed that this uh, Jaguar indeed uh, does. Larry will join a squadron of elite pilots come June 12. The class of 88 includes some remarkable drivers from various codes of the sport. It's a logistical nightmare, but for Jaguar, Silk Cut and Tom Walkinshaw, the gamble is worth it. They might just bring the old cat back to the same winner's circle that launched the famous mark. Tom is very experienced. He's been in this World Sports Car Series now for about four or five years. They won the title last year. They missed out on Le Mans, though, uh, with his network of the European team and the US team, I know he can handle it. When the Le Mans version of this car howls into the night next month with four mates, Perkins will be joined by fellow Aussies Alan Grice, who will drive a Nissan, and former winner Vern Schupen in his own Porsche. It's going to be an interesting day and night in motor racing history. 
For Jag, it's a vital day for Larry Perkins, the rebirth of his international career.